All right, everyone, thank you for joining us for another tech video. And this is our final video for the programming of the board, which of course is your fourth level programming. Um, if you watched our last videos, you know, level one, two, three, uh, it'll let you know more or less how to maneuver it. Uh, but for now, in order to get into the programming, if you watched our last videos, you will push and hold the F button until you enter first level. Once you've entered the first level, you will F and plus at the same time. Of course, I like to kind of like F plus it. Uh, so F plus, that is second level, F plus, that is third level, and F plus for the fourth and final level of programming. All right, that is your communication protocol, okay? So uh, BFT has two different types of communications, one being U-Link, which of course, this is where you would connect your Biba 485 or your Biba Wi-Fi gateway right here up top. And of course, you would go to your communication protocol to either have it disabled, put it to U-Link, or put it to, to our different uh, operating system that BFT uses called Modbus, all right? So of course, if we were using it, we'd probably put it to one because we wanna set up our master, uh, excuse me, primary secondary or um, or just our, our Biba Wi-Fi gateway, all right? I'm gonna put it back to zero for demo purposes. Push F to keep it, back to communication. Now the very next one uh, that's called uh, UNO or UNO, this is where you would go in to set it up for primary or secondary. So first you gotta make sure you turn on U-Link and COM, then you're gonna go to uh, UNO and make sure you set it for primary or secondary. Uh, then of course, right here, this is your settings or your U-Link address. Let's say you have a bunch of these Maximas in a parking place and you wanna connect them all together, you can give them all an address and of course use our U-Base software uh, to communicate with all of it. Um, this right here, of course, is uh, if you're using the Modbus uh, unit from ours, uh, you'd be able to you know, change it for primary or secondary and select the addresses as well. So that is different from U-Link. Uh, this one is choosing your baud rate if you're using your Modbus. Um, and of course, this one right here, TOT, this is the operations counter, right? <clears throat> so this one's a read-only parameter. You can't change anything here, but at least you can see, in, and it's expressed in hundreds. So if you see the number one, it's 100, number two, 200, and so forth. And last but not least, this one is my favorite. This is the error list. So this will go through all of your errors, uh, anything that you've ever done uh, since you've installed it. Of course, you can go inside and you can clear it. Uh, but you know, before clearing it, of course, you wanna look and see what errors you have, right? So you can come in here, see any kind of errors. We had an error 20. Okay, of course, that was when we first got it hooked up. All right, and then of course, if you need to, you can exit out. All right, so that's error. And then of course, one more to get to ST, as you saw from the other videos, this is the end of that parameter or the end of that menu level. And then F to save all your changes and exit out. Thank you again for joining us.